Good morning, folks. We've got a whole lot of topics to hit today that we cover in detail regularly at the channel. We're going to review and tell you where you can learn more. But we are starting with our star, where activity is slightly on the rise. We're awaiting the impact of the coronal hole stream from the central departing opening, and we also had one eruption a few hours ago. The plasma filament incoming on the south is still being monitored as it turns in to face the Earth, and nearby, the small eruption takes place. May actually be a weak coronal mass ejection associated, nothing scary, but the active region will need to take our eyes as it's directly facing the Earth over the next 48 hours. Solar wind is elevated as we take the last bit of the previous coronal hole stream from the now departed opening. Geomagnetic instability continues ahead of the arrival of the next one, which will likely be tonight or tomorrow. First science update today is on hot Jupiters, massive gas giants orbiting closer to their star than Mercury does to our sun. They have the ability to trick scientists into thinking their star is younger than it is by triggering increased X-ray flaring. This plays into the interaction triggering activity where material or magnetic interaction with the star is going to cause it to act rambunctiously. Interestingly, both material and magnetic interactions are the future of our solar system as we take the central density and magnetic reversal with the galactic current sheet. Learn more about the solar system shift in the upcoming trigger of the solar micronova with our books The Next End of the World and the 2022 Observer Supplement, both at the link in the description box below the video. A double for seismicity on deck next as earthquake forecasting programs are getting better by utilizing the various pre-seismic signals identified over the last decade, including geomagnetic signals and atmospheric electricity. Furthering that concept, another study that dives into the data to find a significant relationship between the ionosphere, solar activity, and earthquakes. You can learn a lot more about those concepts in Chapter 7 of our book, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, also found at the link below the video. Back to Earth changes where precipitable water is confirmed to be increasing over the last half century or more. Some areas will be hammered by extra flooding as this is intensifying over the next couple years, and other areas will benefit from shifting from a drier condition to a wetter one like the New Valley of the Sun. Lastly, folks, a duo attempts to debunk 70-foot waves measured offshore of Australia by basically saying it's impossible. They don't believe the data. Their belief is not required and their incredulity is understandable, but these are the sorts of changes we do expect at increasing scale as the Earth shift gets more serious. We greatly appreciate your support. Get all those books and much more at the link below the video. See our playlist. Book a one-on-one -on -one call to discuss your location or the science or whatever else you want. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now. It's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.